let us now study new new concept here that is rules and conventions for writing essay units and symbols okay we for, we found that uh, or we learned it essay units and essay system is followed all over the world okay but there are some rules there there are some easy 10 points 10 rules are there how to write the essay units and their symbols okay so let's see first one by one okay. so first one the scientist names okay scientist names I'll write in short small things only short way the scientist names should always be in small letters okay small letters okay. scientist names in small letters so we know in english we write always name of a person you write in cap letter only suppose you write your name you write your name in first starting letter will be cap letter only but here in science okay we have to write the scientist names in small letters only okay for the essay unit for example okay let me take example here newton okay very famous scientist okay newton small letter only n henry okay another scientist here and what okay james what you heard of it new into the steam engine okay then you see small letters only you must write the names okay then uh, sir when should we use the capital letters you write the short form okay of scientist name then you can use the capital letters okay so let's see that one so short form is symbols okay the symbols of scientist names scientist names that you can write in short form or, or capital letters sorry. this is capital letters capital letters you can write okay example for this you can see newton Okay, so now Newton, you write as capital N. Henry, you write as capital H. Watt, you write as capital W. Okay, so Newton, Henry and Watt. Okay, this is the second one. Then, this is the third one. Mm. See, suppose we say, sir, we have so, so many things also. Meter is there. Meter is not the name of scientist. Okay, kilogram. Kilogram is not the name of a scientist. Then what to do? That you can write as small letters. Okay. So third point is you can use small letters okay, for things which are not uh, not proper nouns. Okay. Proper noun means what? Name of a person, place or thing. Okay. So proper nouns. So I said the example now. Okay. Meter. Meter is not name of a scientist. You write small letters. So symbol is small m only. Kilogram. Kilogram is not name of scientist or name, not name of person. Small k, small g. Okay. So then next one you see, sir, I bought um, see I went to the shop. I bought ten kilos of rice. Rice. Okay. We say kilos or kilograms. The s will not shouldn't come. Okay. The plural shouldn't be there. We say we buy ten meters of cloth. Okay. Meters. Okay. We shouldn't use the plural, sir. Okay. That is the next point here. So no plurals should be used. No plurals. For example, if you write uh, meters, so I just I, I'm writing in different order than the textbook. Okay. So no plurals means we should not write kilogram is correct. Okay. But if you write kilograms, yes, you write together it is wrong. Okay. The next one will go. We should not use any full stop of punctuation. No full stop, or you should not use any punctuation. Full stop, you know, punctuation means what the comma, apostrophe, and all. That should not be there. For example, you write say 50 meters. Okay, this is correct. But you write 50 meter and then put a dot here. Okay, that is wrong. Okay, you put dot or comma, that is wrong. So you should not have any full stop or any punctuations okay next one see temperature i said what is the assumed of temperature kelvin okay so temperature we always use kelvin scale only okay when you use a kelvin scale okay we should not use a degree symbol no degree symbol should be used for example let me write uh, say 273 Kelvin. Okay, in this thing we should not write the degree symbol. 
सपोज राइट ट्वेंटी और से एटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट सेल्सियस यू कैन एट डिग्री सेल्सियस और यू कैन से से फाइव हंड्रेड डिग्री फैरनहीट फॉर सेल्सियस एंड फैरनहीट यू कैन यूज़ अ but for kelvin scale you should use the degree symbol okay and rub this uh, things out just to show that okay so temperature you should use the degree symbol okay and erase this okay let's go to next point then. Now uh, we'll go to the seventh point. Okay, seventh point. We should use, use, use only one solidus. Solidus means what? This symbol. Okay, the slanting line. Okay. So, for example, if we want to write meter per second. Okay, meter per second. That you can write it as okay m slash s. Okay, this is okay. We can use only one solidus. You should use two or three. For example, suppose you write joule per kelvin per mole. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, you should use, you should use only one uh, solidus. How to write this, sir? Then you ask. So you say joule kilogram power minus one it goes up now. Kilogram power sorry kelvin power minus one. Kelvin power minus one and then mole power minus one. This is how to write. Okay, it's very simple. Then <clears throat> let's now go to the eighth point here. So there should be some space, okay, between the units and the symbols. Okay, leave space between units and symbols. So what does it mean? How to write this? So I'll give an example here. For example, um, see we write fifty kilogram, fifty kilogram, okay. I leave some space here. That's. I leave some space here. Fifty kilograms. Space must be there. Suppose you write everything together. Fifty. Then kg. Okay. This is wrong. Okay. You should leave some space so that it's easy to understand. Okay. So this is the way. This is correct. Then let's go to ninth point. Then. Then. Uh, yes. We should use only accepted standard units. Okay. Use accepted standard units. What everyone accepts in the world. Accepted standard units. For example, okay, I'll write the example down. Or oh, I'll write here itself. Okay. See, we say the word ampere. Current is measured in ampere. Okay. For ampere, what should be assumed correctly? We write only a. Some this is correct. Okay. Some of them write a m p. That is wrong. Amp a m p. That is wrong. Use only the allowed one. Then next one, they say second. Okay, second is no. The short form for second is small s only. This is correct. Some will write s e c. That is wrong. Okay. So everywhere in the world, ampere we write as only capital A, not writing amp a m p. Second, we write only s. Don't write s e c. Okay. This is very clear to understand. Now let's go to last one. So we have big numbers, sir. How to write? Okay, very big numbers. We have to write in the form of scientific notation. Okay, so it's our scientific form. Okay, so numbers. How to write this in scientific form? Scientific form. Sir, how does it mean? What does it mean? Scientific form means. Okay, I'll give an example. See, density of mercury. We learn mercury is a liquid metal. You can see in thermometers also. It's a very heavy metal. Okay, or heavy liquid. So let's see that density means thickness of mercury. So density of mercury, okay. the density of mercury comes to be one point three six into ten power four. I'll take a chalk here. Ten power four kilogram per meter cube. This is correct. Okay. See one point. After one number, we must have a decimal point. Okay, but suppose you write one three six, then two zeros. Okay, then kilogram. 
meter per kilogram per meter cube okay if i write this way write this way what happens is this zero sometimes we sometimes we forget okay so it will cause a mistake in calculations so we should not use this one okay always use only scientific form numbers okay so these are the 10 important rules and conventions for writing yes you understand these symbols okay this is a very very important five mark question okay so read through this okay and then write in the assignment also thank you for watching